Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because we are about to take a dive into Pokemon Journeys episode 109. Ash versus Raihan with a spot in the Masters 8 on the line. Let's flip and go. So if you guys enjoy what you see, make sure you guys thumbs up the like button. It really does help with the algorithms. And be sure to subscribe as well if you love this type of content. We do this sort of thing every single week that there is a brand new episode of Pokemon Journeys. And we are on our way up to 10,000 amazing legends subscribed in the Crasher community. Let's get into this, man. I am excited. Oh, wasting no time. We got Ash and Lucario running. <laughs> Lucario's doing that Naruto run, too. And here we are, baby. We are at Hammerlock in the Gala region. Oh, <claps> uh, yeah. I am beyond excited about this. And there's Raihan. If it isn't my challenger for today. <laughs> Saying that so casually. So why are you here so early? <laughs> Guess I just couldn't sit still. What about you? This place is my home turf. Well, no kidding. Am I not supposed to be here? <laughs> Man, I never thought you'd make it up this far. Well, it's Ash. But this is as far as you get. I'm winning this. I didn't come here to lose. Oh. Wait. What the hell? Why was... Why was Leon... Leon freaking sleeping in the bush? I almost called him Leon there. A combination of Leon and Raihan. I didn't want to be late for your battle. <laughs> I guess I got here too early instead. You too. I'm going to win the battle today for sure, then I'll battle you, Mr. Leon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Man. <laughs> that that Leon and Ash, they have so much in common. I swear to God. <laughs> Leon sleeping in the bush reminds me of something that Ash would do. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. God love you, Leon. God love you. The battle for the Masters 8, baby. Let's freaking go. Wasting no time. We're getting right into this. We're in the stadium. The stadium is jam-packed. Let's put our all in a cheer for him. Damn right, go. Oh. Oh, my God. This is it. This is it, guys. <laughs> The title conferred upon the top-ranked 8, the Masters 8. With that title on the line, the final promotional match of the season will now begin. First up, and currently ranked 9th, Ash Ketchum. His battles are impossible to predict. From the moment he entered the championships, he raced his way up here in the blink of an eye. Yeah, it seems like it, honestly. <laughs> like, Ash just, like, freaking speed ran his way up to the ranks. And there's Raihan, currently ranked 8th. The Dragon Storm who conquers battles with his passionate heart and cool-headed tactics. Competitor Raihan. Let's go, baby. Yes, yes, go. I'm sure he does have a lot of fans. They are in his home turf, after all. <laughs> we can't be outdone. You can do it, Ash. Oh my god, I'm excited for this. What sort of battle will we witness? You must be excited, right champion? The stadium is oozing with their ardent fighting spirit. This is going to be an incredibly fun battle. Yup. Here we go, man. Go, oh, man, I'm excited. So, three each. There is no limit on match length or switching up Pokemon. Alright. Whoever makes all three of their opponent's Pokemon unable to battle will be the winner. Alright. Additionally, you're allowed to use a... S okay, so a single use of only one of the following. Dynamax, Mega Evolution, or Z-Move. So... Okay, so Ash has to choose between Dynamax or Z-Moves. Or, not Z-Moves, uh, Mega Evolution. Here we go! 3, 2, 1, baby! Let's go! Alright, who are we starting out with? Oh, we got Dragonite! And Flyg... Oh, shit! A dragon showdown. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Oh, my God. Let the battle begin. Now we got Dragon Claw and Dragon Dance. Let's see this. And, okay, now we got Steel Wings. So, Dragon, I seem to have been able to bounce that uh, Dragon Claw off. And 
And so far, Dragonite's able to dodge all Flygon's attacks. Dodges by the skin of its teeth. You'll, yeah, Dragonite is impressive. But I don't think uh, that's going to be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough. But don't you think you can best me when it comes to Dragon types? Let the winds blow! Straightforward Sandstorm! <laughs> Woo! Let's do this. And we got Sandstorm. I have a feeling that's going to cause a lot of problems. And thank God for the barrier, because the audience would have had problems dealing with that shit too. Yeah, Dragonite is going to take damage from the Sandstorm, given how it's not a ground, rock, or steel type. And Dragonite's not liking this one bit. Now we got Dra- Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! oh. Dragon, I took that hit flush, but he was able to get up, but it can't see. Oh, now it just got, oh, now it's getting freaking ram jammed by those steel wings. Can he keep going? Uh, Dragonite's looking a little bit worse for wear, <laughs> like already. Okay, now we got Draco Meteor. Okay. Launching a nuke. Is that gonna land on Flagon though? One of them's got a hit. <clears throat> okay, now we got Hurricane coming. To, to. Oh, wait. There we go. Found that Flagon. Now we got Dragon Claw. Oh, oh. A one two piece combo, baby. Nice. And Flygon immediately gets back up, and it vanished right into the Sandstorm. Yes, go again. It is known as, uh, as a Sand Spirit, after all. Another Draco Meteor, okay. I won't fall for that twice. Steel Wings, oh! Right in the back of the head! Oh my god! Dragonite's first loss! It's down! Oh, shit! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that... That was shocking. I was expecting for Dragonite to put up a better... Uh, like, a, 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 a tougher fight than that, but just freaking... Oh my god. <sighs> now we got Gengar coming in. Now, it's gotta deal with that Sandstorm, though. But for how long is the question? Dude, man, my freaking heart's pounding. Now we got Steel Wing from uh, Flygon, and Gengar's gonna try and dodge it. Oh! Oh, now we got Ice Punch! Oh, but Flygon dodged it, and now we got Dragon. Oh! Couldn't dodge that. Eh, Flygon's able to toy with any Pokemon under Sandstorm. If I can't do something about this Sandstorm, you're gonna have to do something about that, Ash. It's over for you. Oh, shit, Crunch. That's a Dark-type move. Super effective against Ghost. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, Gengar's down. Is it out? Come on, Gengar. Gengar, get up! Come on, Gengar. You, you gotta represent. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, Gengar. Gengar's down and not moving. Come on, Gengar. Tough it out, baby. Let's go. If he loses Gengar, Ash only has one Pokemon left. Yeah. Ryan is still looking good. And Ash is at an overwhelming disadvantage. Gengar's, ge Gengar's getting up. Yes! There you go! Oh my god. You said you wanted to battle Leon, didn't you? The champion you so admire? But that's not gonna be enough. What's your reason for wanting to battle Leon? It's gotta be to win. I'm not gonna lose to admiration without backbone. I'll topple you and I'll topple Leon. I'm gonna be the champion. Oh, shit. That's right. I admire Leon, and I've wanted to battle him for ages. Not to mention the two resemble each other to a T. 
He also wants to beat Leon. That's why I can't lose here. <sighs> Come on, Gengar. Sorry, Lucario. Omega of all of you now. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's slipping on the Dynamax band! Oh my god! We are going to be getting ourselves. We're going to be getting ourselves Gigantamax Gengar. Let's get huge, baby. Oh yeah! Let's get huge! <sighs> that music's kicking in, man. Oh my god. <sighs> there it is! <clears throat> Gigantamax Gengar in the house. <sighs> yup, Gigantamax Gengar is here. Suck He's gonna suck up that sandstorm! Ho 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 ho! There's that Ash Ketchum creativity we know and love. And that look on Flygon was like, what the hell happened? And now we got Max Phantom. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good for Flygon. And he's going to try to go for a crunch. <clears throat> oh, Die Fairy. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's not good for Flygon whatsoever. Thank God for that barrier, otherwise the, the audience would have uh, had the effects of that attack too. Flygon is unable to battle, baby. <clears throat> wow. Ash was able to pull out of that crisis with his wits indeed. <sighs> Holy shit. I'd say Flygon did do very well. Now, who is next? Oh, we got Gudra. The pseudo legendary of Gen 6. All oh, the Dragon Storm. And now it's Rain Dance time. Which means Gudra's gonna be loving that rain. <clears throat> Especially with hydration. I can assume it has hydration as its ability. Yes, this is Raihan at its best. When you're all heated up, the cold rain really soaks into your skin. All thunder, and it doesn't miss in rain. Oh! Gengar took a hit. Oh, now we got Surf. And that's going to gain extra power thanks to rain. Oh, right in the base. And now we got Hydro Pump. What a freaking combo of attacks. Gengar doesn't want to return? Okay, got it. What's wrong? Not gonna switch? They'll take the invitation to defeat it. Surf! Oh, shit. Oh! What's Gengar gonna do? Oh! It brushed away the surf with its tongue! <laughs> Nicely done, Gengar! Let's go, baby! <clears throat> We're gonna win. Die Fairy. I wonder if that's gonna... Oh, now we got Hydro Pump. Max Fairy versus Hydro Pump. Oh! Right in Gengar's eyes. Oh! A double hit? A clash of moves. Uh-oh. Gengar's gonna go down. It's it's, Dynam it's Gigantamax is wearing off. And Gudra's down too. Oh, Gengar's down. It's a double down! Oh my god! So Gengar was able to defeat Flygon and Gudra. That right there, that is how you make Gengar look like a freaking unit. Now it's down to one versus one. And now we got Lucario and Duraludon, baby. The two aces of the respective parties. Dragon Steel versus Dragon Fighting. <clears throat> and yes, yes, Raihan does in fact have his trump card of, uh, of uh, Gigantamaxing. We're gonna win this. <laughs> oh, buddy. Let's do this. That's why I'll go all out to beat and crush you. Oh, he's wasting no time. 
He's gonna actually Gigantamax his Duraludon already. Oh, buddy. Blow the whole stadium away. Oh my god, here we go. Yep, Gigantamax Duraludon. The freaking thing's a skyscraper. And now Lucario's gonna go for the double team. Oh, shit. <clears throat> this? This is intense. Aura Sphere times, let's go. Oh, right to the side of the face, but... That just, I think, angered him. One more Aura Sphere. And... Got him dead on, but that didn't do anything. Uh-oh, now we got Max Steel here. Oh, God. Oh, he's dodging it. Oh! That dodge wasn't enough, but he's still on his feet. You fought well to make it this far. But this is where it ends. Roar my dragon! Now we got ourselves Kodai Decay. And Lucario's got that blue glow going on. What the hell's happening here? Uh, Ash is not moving. He's... I can't let it end here. Oh my god, wait a second. Don't you agree, Lucario? He's communicating with Lucario through their aura bond. And that aura sphere is growing. Oh man, Ash and Lucario have become one. And that aura sphere is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Just like Bond Phenomenon, now we got Aura Bond Phenomenon. He was able to use the Match Dragon move to power up that Aura Sphere. This is why he trained with Gakoga. Yes. It's even bigger. <clears throat> oh my god. We got Dragonite and Gengar in Lucario's thoughts. Oh my god. That aura sphere is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh my god. There there it is, man. There's the forest. And the Gakoga, baby! Let's go! And that that aura sphere is so big. I can feel it. Our aura. Linking everything. Man, forget about Mega Evolution. This Lucario... This Lucario just might be enough to do the trick. <sighs> Kyodai Aura Sphere? And now we got Dirock. So he really did absorb that max move to power up that Aura Sphere. Let's go! Max move versus Kyodai Aura Sphere. And it just broke right through the Kyodai rocks. Oh! That just smoked that. He just toppled that freaking building. He toppled that Gigantamax Duraludon like a freaking build. Oh, they won a battle! Ash is the winner! He's done it! Oh my god, you're kidding me! Lucario topples the Gigantamax Duraludon with a supremely gigantic Aura Sphere. Yes. He did it. Our boy Ash did it. <laughs> Holy shit! Thank you for showing me a battle that could not be topped. Rylan's taking this well. Even though his dream just got shattered. Jeez. <laughs> I lost. Thank you, Mr. Raihan. Oh, I know. Got a moment? Huh? Oh, what? Come on, smile. <laughs> of course he's going to take a selfie with Ash. I'll be the one to topple you and Leon. So, you better not lose to anyone else first. Right. Yeah, you got to promise. You got to promise to uh, uphold their Ashy boy. The competitors advancing to the Masters Tournament have been determined. 
Let's go, baby. Ash is officially 8th place. Let's go. And Iris is 7th. Alon is 6th. I really hope Ash and Alon mix it up, and I hope he whoops Alon's butt. Diantha is 5th. Lance is 4th. Champion of Kanto and Johto, two regions in one. My boy, Steven Stone is in third. Second is Cynthia. And ranked number one, none other than Leon, baby. The undefeated, unbeatable champion competitor, Leon. The dream tourney where these eight, mighty eight will compete. The Masters Tournament is nearly here. Holy shit. That is a stacked roster. And I cannot wait to see what type of matchups that come from the Masters 8 bracket. Dude, I am like... I am shaking right now. This is so exciting. Atta boy, Ash. Our boy, Ash to the Ketchum, is in the Masters 8. We knew this was going to happen, but to actually see it take place oh my god that right there is a wonderful feeling all right ladies and gentlemen you know what time it is it's evaluation time let's get into my post reaction thoughts about pokemon journeys episode 109 and holy shit did this battle ever deliver? So this episode wasted no time in getting into the action, and it was a 3 vs 3 battle. We have Ash with his Dragonite, G-Max Gengar, and Lucario on one side of the arena, and Raihan and his Flygon, Gudra, and G-Max Duraludon on the other side. This match starts off with the Battle of the Dragons with Dragonite vs Flygon. While Dragonite put up a good fight, it eventually was no match for Flygon with its Sandstorm tactics and barrage of attacks. Dragonite ends up suffering its first loss. Gengar comes in to avenge Dragonite, and despite taking heavy damage from Flygon, it willed its way back up and Gigantamaxed, and not only got rid of the Sandstorm, aka Flygon's advantage, it took out Flygon after a Max Phantasm and Max Starfall attack. Next came in Gudra, and with its advantage in Rain, it fired off Thunder and powered up Surf's and Hydro Pump attacks, but Gengar actually withstood and refused to back down. It launched another Max Starfall while Gudra launched another Hydro Pump, and it came to a double down as Gudra and Gengar both were knocked out. It then came down to the aces, G-Max Duraludon and Lucario. Raihan wasted no time in activating G-Max Duraludon and was seemingly unfazed by Lucario's moves. As Duraludon unleashed its G-Max depletion move, Lucario actually absorbed the power of that move and powered up its Aura Sphere to the point where it was like a G-Max move. Thanks to Greninja training Lucario, this is the fruits of their labor, and this version of Lucario is not one to be messed with at all. This Aura Sphere crushed G-Max Duraludon and its Max Rockfall move, securing Ash with the win and his spot in the Masters 8. And now we know the rankings of the competitors in the Masters 8. Ash is now in 8th place, Iris is in 7th place, Alon is in 6th place, Diantha is in 5th place, Lance is in 4th place, Steven Stone is in 3rd place, Cynthia is in 2nd place, and Champion Leon is obviously in 1st place. The Masters 8 is decided, folks. Now it's time for the madness to be cranked up. So as for my rating of this episode, you know what? I'm gonna say fuck it. I'm giving this a straight up 10 out of 10. I love how this episode pretty much jumped into the action. We did have ourselves a little bit of well-placed humor with Champion Leon being found sleeping in the bushes so he wouldn't be late for Ash's match against Raihan, but... This episode had so much action, no wasted motion, and this right here shows that Gengar really truly is a unit, especially when Gengar is written the right way. Gengar definitely impressed the hell out of me here. And the fact that we had ourselves Lucario absolutely destroy Raihan's G-Max Duraludon with that souped up Aura Sphere, holy shit! 
That right there is crazy. Like, that right there just goes to show that if you have any problems in life, you should just go take up some training with Greninja. He'll help you out. But no, honestly, I can't find really any flaws at the moment when it comes to this episode. And maybe it's just me still high off of this episode because of how crazy, action-packed, and hype it was. But this was truly a fantastical episode. Episode. So I'd like to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below as to what you thought about Pokemon Journeys episode 109 and on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this episode? And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing and especially comment your thoughts down below because I love hearing you guys out. Always have, that will never ever change, so thank you guys again for watching, have yourself a fantastic day or night depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.